guys and welcome back to John Armstrong Rally and now this is a bit of a strange one um, I was supposed to get a flight back home on Tuesday I'm off for my Easter holidays and my phone rings and I get an offer to go and drive an RX 150 buggy in a rallycross race at Leiden Hill and it didn't take me long to make up my mind so it's Sunday night I'm at Birmingham International Airport I was due to come back on Tuesday I'm back on Sunday instead Tomorrow I'm going to do my first ever rallycross race and yeah, I'm going to bring you guys along and show you all the behind the scenes and everything that's going to happen throughout the, the whole day. So it's going to be really interesting and I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to drive home now, get a good night's sleep, get up pretty early to drive down there. It's going to take me three or four hours. So yeah, I'm going to be a little bit tired, but nothing that a little bit of a uh, adrenaline rush won't sort out. So. Yeah, let's go get a night's sleep. Uh, I'll see you in the morning. Just on our way to Lytton Hill. I got up very early this morning. I left about half three to go pick up Matt. Matt's holding the camera at, at the minute. So we're on our way down. And yeah, it's a bit of a long journey, about uh, two and a half hours, but really looking forward to the, the day ahead and getting to do my first rally cross race. Hey, how's things? Not bad, how you doing, mate? Not too bad. I'll be there um, at the racetrack in about uh, nine or nine minutes or so. We are here. So guys, we're at Lytton Hill today for my first ever rallycross race in uh, RX150 buggy. I'm just going to go out on the bike now and have a look at the track and see what it's like. Uh, it's going to be totally different to anything I've done before. And yeah, I'm going to go for a spin now and then whenever I come back I'll show you around the buggy. So this here is the final corner onto the gravel, which is actually more like broken tarmac or concrete. It's pretty calm. Where to this track? Something you don't really notice as much in, in the video game is how much calm there is. <laughs> and this here is absolutely nuts. It's got a massive curve on the left, which is really, really rippled and rough. Got another one on the right. So this is where the start and finish is. The grid's up there. So yeah, down into turn one, it's falling downhill. You now it's probably uh, staying nice and tight because you get little patches of, of tarmac on the inside or if you go out wide then you're going to hit the gravel. So I'll try and stay on the inner line. I'll get tarmac as much as I can because that's where the grip's going to be today, I think. Especially in a rear wheel drive buggy. Down into the joker lap, which is... It's actually incredible the amount of uh, elevation change in this. If you actually come uphill, you probably want to stay left, turn square right around these barriers. show you around the buggy a little bit. Uh, I'll start with the inside. So I've got a, a bucket seat with uh, six point harnesses to keep me strapped in there. As you can see, there's not much room. My head's actually pretty close to the, the roll bars in here. So there's not much room for me. I've got a clutch 
brake pedal and throttle like a normal car. Um, I wasn't using the clutch to change gears towards the end there, I was just letting off throttle and able to pull the sequential shifter back and forward um, like a normal rally car and there's a handbrake down there as well, just a hydraulic handbrake. So yeah, it's very simple but amazing piece of kit. Um, it's got a rev gauge here, it's got a shift light for telling me when to change gear. And a bit of a control box over here for doing the windscreen wipers and washers and that sort of thing, starting it and getting the car up and running, or the buggy should I say. Um, this lever here is for select and reverse. So yeah, that's the inside, there's not really too much to it, just minimalistic and enough to get, get me going. Um, on the outside we've got wing mirrors here, it's got a motorbike engine sitting back here, nice big dampers. Uh, we are using the joker lap but um, didn't really get any air over it whenever I've done the practice run but that might change throughout the day. For another practice seat now and uh, then we get to do the first qualifying round. It's pretty warm as you can see I'm uh, sweating so i try to stay cool now and get a drink of water. Do I keep left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 session took it pretty easy at the start just to figure out where the grip was on the track and get my head around the, the way you have to drive the buggy around this track and yeah you'll see it started off pretty slow but then pick up the pace towards the end of the session session was good to get out with other uh, competitors and start trying to dice with them a wee bit. Um, was keeping on the tail of the, the other ones that have been doing it a bit longer than I have so it's encouraging. Uh, we'll see what way the first race goes. Don't really know how it's going to go. It's tricky whenever you go into the gravel sections trying to see where you're going but uh, yeah we'll just have to see how it goes and um, hope for the best but so far so good. <laughs> For my first ever race, I made a per start. I sort of sat in the line for half a second before I dropped the clutch. Uh, and then I went straight into the joker lap and followed uh, the white buggy into the joker lap. I actually managed to make my first pass on the first lap and get past the white buggy which was really fantastic to do that straight away because I was a little bit worried about overtaking and, and trying not to make too much contact. Once the leaders made their 
joker lap. I was on the, the tail of them and actually catching them with the pace. So that was really, really cool to see. You know, these guys have done a lot more circuit racing than I have. Uh, Tom Onso Cole is a, a GT racer at the moment. Lucy Palmer in the red buggy is the four times champion. So to be dicing with them at the end of my first race was fantastic. race and finished third which is amazing even with a, a bad start and a couple of little mistakes but yeah it's going going well so far Matt is really pleased with my driving and uh, yeah hopefully we can get a better result in the next one yeah really good and uh, can't wait to get back out now and do the uh, second qualifier yeah he's just finished the second race and it was another third place um, went into the joker on the first lap again and got held up a little bit so i think it made it difficult then to to gather up any other places and got stuck behind a guy and couldn't really get past till the end so yeah a little bit frustrating not to improve on race one but uh, hopefully um, i'll get a better good position for the third heat and yeah get a better result so for race three i was on the start line but i didn't have the buggy selected in first gear properly and when I dropped the clutch, I, as you can see, I just sat in the start line, which was really frustrating, but I pushed like hell after that and still managed to get third in the race. With three third places in the qualifying races, I qualified third on the grid for the final, which means I started uh, furthest left on the front row. I made a really good start and managed to get into second place in the first corner and then I actually managed to make an overtake on the entrance to Devil's Elbow and get into the lead. struggling a wee bit to use my mirrors um, so I actually left the door open and Tom Onzo Cole overtook me again and he got into the lead. really hard and on the next lap I overtook Tom on the exact same corner so it was really a fantastic battle and one that I really enjoyed and was quite surprised to be Dyson for the win on my first ever rallycross race. After the overtake Tom took his joker lap and I done him one lap as fast as I could and then I went into the joker lap. I probably could have done joker lap a little bit quicker because um, I came out just behind Tom and yeah, was right on his tail again, pushing behind him. I was able to carry a lot of speed in this corner but I thought I was going to be able to sort of stay behind Tom very closely but I just misjudged the speed and tapped the rear of him and we got caught up and yeah ruined our race.
race didn't turn out the way I thought it would. Uh, I was having a great battle with Tom on So Cold. Uh, I just got a little bit eager in, in this corner here, um, carrying a lot of speed and uh, ran into the, the back of him by mistake and we got tangled up and uh, sort of ruined both the races. So yeah, entirely my fault and uh, really sorry to Tom for, for ruining his race, but we were having a great battle before then and everyone was really happy to see such a, such a great battle. So yeah, really interesting first day doing a rallycross race and Lydon Hills, amazing track. There's, uh, you really like the track, don't you? Don't you, Matt? Yeah, it's a good track. <laughs> Matt, li good Matt, Matt likes Lydon Hill. Um, but yeah, amazing track and had a really fun day, even though it didn't didn't turn out the way I thought. I think I need to get better at, at certain aspects of it, but yeah, it was a really fun day and uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to do something like this again in the future. But that's it, guys. We're going to head to the car. I need a good shower. Uh, we've got a two and a half hour drive up the road. I think we're going to get a, a KFC or something like that to, to wet yeah, the, course, our appetite. Yeah. And, uh, it. Well, I don't deserve it because I messed up. But it was some good running cross though. Yeah, so good yeah, we're going to walk back to the car and, and get changed and, and head for home. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button for more videos in the future. But until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye.